In today's video, I'll be showing you what to do if your Canon PIXMA printer is showing any flashing lights or any error symbols on the LCD screen. This is the Canon PIXMA E3370 model. If you do have another printer or a Canon PIXMA of a different edition, then this video still will be helpful for you as all of the systems do carry the same error codes and the flashing lights may symbolize a similar issue. So this video can help you if you're stuck or there's an issue with your printer, you're not able to print what you need to. Uh, this video can help you to find and locate the issue and I can helpfully provide you with a solution to the problem. So just to start off, you're gonna need to make sure that you have your printer up and running to see what the issues are. As you can see on mine, there's a consistent power light and on the LCD screen, there's no error codes showing. Of course, for the purpose of the video, we're going to assume that there's an issue with the printer that won't let us print. So I'll take you through all the points you should be looking at to make sure you know exactly what to look for, how to fix the issues yourself without any assistance. If once you've done all these steps, you're still not able to fix the issue, you can of course refer to the Canon website or contact their service team, which may be able to assist you a bit further and locate what the issue is. Oh, now to get started with having a look through the printer's components, what we're gonna start with is going to the back of the printer where the paper tray is, removing the paper, and we're just gonna have a look down the back to see if there's any issues. Of course, now we can see there's nothing there, no paper in the way or any uh, anything clogging the machine. What you should also do is just to slide this to the other end, just to make sure there wasn't anything hiding behind or even could be something lodged in there in the slide, which could happen if you slide it whilst there's paper in the machine. It could uh, accidentally tear some paper without you knowing it and then cause issues further down the line. So that appears to be fine. It's not a, a problem that should be concerning the functionality of the printer. Then we're gonna open up the scanning slide. And we can see here there's nothing, any dirt or any uh, loose, sliding objects on top of the glass. There's nothing on the paper either that's gonna affect the scanning of the printer. And all the components we can see are in the correct position and there's no ink leakage that's uh, affecting the printing or any other loose components. We can also have a look just from this angle at the slide at the back to make sure we can, can't see anything again and it's all clear, so that's a great thing. Now we can go ahead and shut this lid and whilst we're at the front of the printer we can come down to the bottom what we can see here is where the uh, paper comes out once of course you've done your printing and you're going to want to find this little latch pull it down and have a look inside and when you do that the ink cartridge is going to slide from the left side to the right and then back into just off center this is now the position where you can remove and change your cartridges if you need to if you need assistance with that we have many videos on the channel which can uh, show you exactly how to do that as well as some tips and advice on where to get the best ink cartridges So we can now have a look to make sure there's nothing inside the printer And we can see now that there's no issues here nothing in the way and No loose components everything is where it should be We might as well as well have a look at the cartridges themselves to make sure there's nothing wrong with them So I'm just going to remove that by pushing down and then gently sliding it out having a look of course, there's nothing wrong with the um, cartridge. These are brand new ones, in fact, so there shouldn't be an issue. It's worth as well just double checking that you've removed the sticker on the bottom of the cartridge. Otherwise, this could affect the ink getting released and uh, going from the cartridge into the printer. So once we've done that, we can slide our cartridge back in. And just click it back up until it's nice and secure. Make sure not to push too hard. Of course, you don't want to break the cartridge or even the printer itself, as there's a lot of components made of plastic, so it could be uh, easily affected by a little bit of brute force. Now this uh, other cartridge seems to be just as good, nothing wrong with it, sticker has been removed and is in uh, good condition. So we can go ahead and slide that back in. Just like that, easy peasy. We can then close this slide back up. And uh, at this stage, the component inside is gonna slide back into the ready position. So make sure not to move the printer at this stage. Give it a few seconds just to align. 
and then we're going to rotate the printer to behind to have a look there and here we are now from this position we have a good clear view of the slot we had a look in earlier but of course from a different angle which gives it a bit of a better perspective to see if there's any paper or anything lodged in there and as you can see it looks very clear nothing wrong there all the opponents are nice and clean and in working order and whilst we're here we want to just make sure that the power cable is plugged in properly uh, this means be resulting in a power supply outage which could affect the uh, power light here so as you can see still a consistent green but if this is flashing there may be an issue with the power supply and if your um, computer is sorry your printer is plugged into a computer you'll be using this port here so make sure there's nothing blocking that affecting the connection to your computer and that appears to be completely fine as well and then that should uh, be everything you need to know to check if there's anything wrong of course if your printer is displaying an issue uh, displaying an error code it should come up on the lcd screen there and you can always put that into google or onto the canon website and that should give you a bit of an indication into what the issue is and help you to locate the problem easier i hope this video has been very useful for you if it has, give us a thumbs up, leave some comments as well if you have any concerns or questions. And if you did enjoy it, feel free to subscribe. Have a good day. My name's Pat and this is Printers with Pat.